Welcome back, guys, to Spot on Sports. We got the same four dudes with all the good issues. Um, listen, top five NFL wide receivers. We're doing a little different here on Spot on Sports today. Uh, Will, I'll start with you. Five to one. Give us your five receivers. Well, number five, I got I start with Mike Evans. I feel like he deserved to be there. Four. Y'all probably gonna hate me for this, but Odell Beckham. I'm gonna stick him at four. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Number three. Whew. I'm gonna have to go on Michael Thomas three. And then number two, D. Hob, number one, Julio. And it, I know it is kind of weird because people. That have was the worst top, top five. What? <laughs> Odell at four? You just put Odell <laughs> over. Oh, oh. I mean, it's. I love Odell. Don't get me wrong, but it's just. Well, one, Julio's a physical freak. D Hop is too. Michael Thomas, you could probably argue those two to the hots because people say Michael Thomas benefits from Drew Brees. I never had a, a quarterback like that. But it's. At the same time, you can't deny Michael Thomas' ability. Like he's. Uh, coming up. I never really was sold on him at first, but as a recent, especially this season, like he really shown out. And his best games last year came from Teddy Bridgewater, not Drew Brees. So it's, I think people starting to sleep on Michael Thomas in a way, but that's that's why I feel like for the top five. This take a shot at it. All right, top five. It's tough, man. It's tough. It's tough. So. It's one of those situations where I, I, I go back and forth between where I want to put Odell Beckham because I feel like a lot of times we go off of Odell Beckham based off of what he did two years back. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and put him at five right now. Put him at five with the, with the chance to come back up. With the chance to come back up with just one good season is all I need from him. It's just one good season. Devontae Adams. So nobody put him, put him in a top five, but that dude is nobody nuts, does. man. Nobody. Devontae be eating. It's just straight up. Just be eating. Straight by himself. Ain't nobody else out there with him. It's just him. Uh, Mike Thomas at three. I think when people argue Mike Thomas at one for me, I'm not mad at because he has arguably the best hands. Y'all remember that Larry Fitzgerald commercial from back in the day when he was in the store just catching everything? The pineapples. And the, y'all remember that commercial? That's what I think of when I see Mike Thomas. New back for hands. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Julio Jones is number two for me. And I had an argument. Somebody finally convinced me that Julio Jones is number two because uh, uh, what he's done is amazing. His numbers are always great. He's at times the only receiver on the field, or, 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 but I need more touchdowns from him. And it's not all him. It's game planning. Why Matt Ryan and LK don't exist when they get in the red zone, I thank don't you, know. Thank you. I have no thank idea. You. Thank I have no idea. Thank you. So, okay. Julio is absolutely amazing. But D-Hop has officially become the number one receiver in the NFL in my eyes just because he's done so much more with so much less than everybody else. Everybody else on that list played with a good quarterback. Everybody else, now, not taking that from Watson, but his first, what, two years in the league, Watson wasn't there yet, right? You know? So, no, he wasn't. D-Hop, man, I don't watch some games where d that game against Seattle with Deshaun Watson then played the Seattle Seahawks and D-Hop was out there just one-handed Richard Sherman and mossing people and taking hit and Bro, this dude is truly the most talented receiver I've ever seen in, in this generation of football. In this generation of football, I think D-Hop can do everything. He's fast as hell. He has good for hands. He has the best hops. Like, Julio, again, was that one for me for a long time, but D-Hop has officially taken over that spot for me. All right, Trey, take a shot. All right, so, in number five, I got Devontae Adams. Same thing Dad says. I, to me, I love watching Devontae has run routes. He has yeah. one of the best release. Yeah. It's just it's like right. just poetry in motion when he runs routes. Um, number four, I feel like he's a system wide receiver, but he's a good wide receiver. I'm going Michael Thomas. All they got is him. They throw him the ball every time. He, he only averaged – his yards per catch is 11.7. I don't like that. He just catch slants. And I just think he's a target haul. And he, he's the only person getting numbers in the offense. Who else going to get numbers? Trey Corn Smith? So – I just think Michael Thomas, the three I got ahead of him, I think talent-wise are better, and I think if they're in that same system, they'll put up better numbers. Uh, and number three, I'm, I'm going Odell Beckham, man. Oh, my. Why I'm y'all a- putting Odell so high on hey, this? What, is, hey, what has Odell oh. done? 
over the hey. last three years has, has put him so high on here. What do y'all think? You, you saw where I put him. Hey, he got because of talent. He got, it's because of talent. Got, that's why. He got back to back 1,000 yard watch season. Y'all was talking about he had one with Eli, watched up Eli Menace to that 1,000 yards. And last year, Baker looked like trash and he still got 1,000 yards. And he was hurt. He played hurt all last year and still mm-hmm. got 1,000 yards, man. Still got a thousand. He only got one season where he don't have a thousand because he got hurt that year. He came into the league first three years. He was like the fastest, uh, the fastest of uh, a bunch of stuff until Michael Thomas took it over. But uh, <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, you're right. Hey, you're right. Hey, hey, you give you give Odell, Drew Brees, you give him Aaron Rodgers, you give him uh Matt Ryan, you give him Deshaun Watson, he will be number one because that boy puts up numbers. He never had a Good quarterback. He had a washed up Eli, and he has Baker, who I don't like because he went to OU. I'm to tell the truth, I don't like him. Uh, <laughs> number two is Julio, and for the uh, for the same reason Dad said, he get all the yards. He don't score touchdowns, man. I like people score touchdowns, man. Got to score touchdowns. He in nine years he got 57 touchdowns, and my number one receiver is Hopkins. In seven years he got 54. Hopkins scored touchdowns. He did it with Brock Osweiler. He did it with Case Keenum. He did with a bunch of other yeah. people I can't name, man. I, I still can't get that uh the cowboy. I'm a cowboy fan. Said so cowboy game on my head. We hey. caught that slant and yes, did like, man, like yes, he did his dirty <laughs> on now. He did his dirty on now. He did his dirty on. Spin, 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 man. Hey, I, I like Hopkins. They got us back for taking a slurpee away from them back in 14 when Dez caught it over uh over old dude's head. So yeah, yeah, they got, they got us. Now. Man, and I I remember last year when he went into the Superdome, well, uh, Breeze had to save him, but uh, he had that one catch on the sideline in the last two minutes, bro. Man, Hopkins a beast, man. He catches everything, man. And yeah. like one of his best, ca- one of his best catches. They, uh, it got caught up because of penalty, bro. They just, just catch everything. I like him, man. And um, I think, I just think I like you. Like, like he said in an uh, interview with Je- uh, Jalen Jacoby, he never uh, he had Matt Ryan his whole career. He will ball out. He had uh, Drew Brees his whole career. He balled out. He didn't have neither one of them. He still balled out. And when he when he got Deshaun Watson, he balled out some more. I think he'll do one of that. Nice, nice top fives, but uh, <clears throat> fix my tie on this because I'm about to spice it up. Um, <laughs> my, I swear to God. Uh, <laughs> Dad, you're going to be right here when I get from five, and you're going to be right here when I get to one. <laughs> Number five, Michael Thomas. Why? Because I'm not enamored over position receivers mm. catching 18 balls a game when he's the only guy getting the ball, and he's the only receiver good enough to get the ball in the Saints. Don't give me this top three crap with Michael Thomas. I don't care. I'm not going for it. He's number five on my mm. list. And I don't like I just can't stand anybody putting him up that high. Is he a great receiver? Yes. He's one of probably one of the best possession receivers I've probably seen in a long time. But I'm not, I'm not impressed on little slants. Or, or these things, tick, 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 tick yards. He, he, he leaves a game with 12, 12 catches. Now, according to pro football folks, they said if they take away every slant he ran, he still will lead the league in receptions. I'm just throwing that out there. Okay, okay. I'm just okay, saying. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just, I ain't taking nothing from you. I heard what you said, and I'm okay, with you. Okay. I'm with you. Like, you threw a stat at me. You threw a stat at me. I, I, I'm just throwing I, I, it out there on the show. That's all. And look, he's still in my top five. He's still in my top five. I'm just not putting him above that. Number four is one person who I think that you guys are just disrespecting because y'all think he's going to be Coney, and that's Tyreek Hill. I'm putting he it at number four respect. because I, I, think Ty- I think if you put Tyreek on any other team, he still mm-hmm. have that same level of production. And he's a product of Patrick Mahomes. No, he's not a product of Patrick Mahomes. He, he's he just fast, was there bro. before Pat was I there. I thought he just fast. He, See, he he and that, that Michael Thomas is just catch. Hey, that's it. He, he dominated Alex Smith, though. He did. Alex Smith, bro. He did. And he I had, don't he think had one season. No one's giving him no. He had one season? Well, Alex Smith, he had one 1,000 receiver season. Yeah, because then Mahomes came up. But <laughs> he still had 1,000. Yeah, one year. <laughs> he had 1,000 yards with a, with a quarterback who only throws slants. Number three, fellas. Mike Evans. <laughs> I think uh, I don't think Ooh. Mike Evans gets enough love. He doesn't. I don't think he gets enough love for what he does. Uh, I think if you did give him a better quarterback than even what Jameis did, then he would have superior numbers at least at the level of what D Hop and Julio produce. But I think Mike Evans is one of those guys where you just don't stop <laughs> great players, you limit them, and he's coming out of games 
I'm talking about yards, catches, touchdowns, and and Mike Evans is going has has been dominant since year one since he stepped in the league. Yeah, Chris Godwin is there, uh, but Tom Brady's going to know if I'm in a jam, even if Gronk's throwing that field, and Mike Evans is going to catch this pass. And so mm-hmm. I put him in my number three. Number two. <laughs> <sighs> DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah. Yeah. I love how I love all the things Hop can do. He's he is top two and two. Um, you know, it, it's his catching ability is probably, if not on par with Michael Thomas, it's even better. His playmaking ability, if again, I'm only putting him at two because and I'm being a little biased here, but if not on par with Julio Jones, it could be slightly better. But it's it's not nothing, it's nothing that D Hop can't do. And when you look at the games that he's played in, when Deshaun Watson, and again, when he's in trouble, he's in trouble at least 65% of the time on that Texas offense. It's D-Hop. It's D-Hop. It's D-Hop. It's D-Hop. So I believe in going to Arizona, Kyler Murray is going to know, yeah, I got to have D-Hop. And and utilizing this type of receiver and what D-Hop can bring to a team is just enormous. But obviously, my number one has to be, I got the dirty birds calling me Julio Jones. Come on now. 4-2. Ran with a broken foot in the draft. Did we forget that? Listen, this man is just a, a victim of the system being ran by Matt Ryan. This is like you said earlier. The reason he hasn't been scoring touchdowns is because Matt Ryan acts like the man does not exist when he gets to the red zone. But right. what can Julio not do? I'm talking about short, and immediate, long. Nine times out of ten, Julio is the best athlete on the field. Nine times out of ten, Julio is the best player on the field. He's the and best safety in the NFL, too. Bitch. Don't even play defense in the man. Yeah, in the man, no he's harder player. than half the safeties in the league does. No, he's the best safety. Every time Matt throw a pick, highlight real time. Because the dude be hitting like he's Brian Dolphin, so <laughs> Julio and, and, here. and this is a hot take, but I put Julio number one to the point where even when A B was in the league doing what A B was doing, I was still going with Julio as my number one. Just, just, just because of the freaking nation that he is, and I so love AB. I love yeah. what AB was doing, but it's it's Julio, and and plus, Julio will go down for me as one of the most consistent receivers ever. Let's 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 take it back a little bit, and then we're in the segment. Let's look at To and Randy Moss. A lot of people will put Randy Moss above To just because of the numbers that he will put up. But for me, it's consistency. What have you done for me throughout the stretch of your career? And at the end of the day, when Julio Jones is getting enshrined in the Hall of Fame and our kids are looking up his stats, what are they going to see? 1,600, 1,600, 1,400, 1,300, all that stuff. It's going to be there. Yeah, the touchdowns are going to be missing. Yeah, he did have that year where it was two, but the Falcons had a lot of offensive issues going on that year as well. But I put Julio as my number one. So we agree. Let me, let me get that, Tony. Because you brought up T.O. and Moss, which I have a conversation all the time. I think uh-huh. that, I think number three receiver all the time is Jerry Rice. I think T.O. and Moss got him beat. That's just me. Now everybody agree with that. But my thing is, just like with D-Hop and Julio, T.O. always had a good quarterback. Always had a good quarterback. We saw Randy Moss go through, go through a couple of years where he's like, okay, I can see why he's not very motivated. Moss now always had good quarterbacks. Now we know what he did with Brady. We know he had Cole Pepper. We know he – but come on, man. You go from – yeah, Steve Young. And you got like Mark or uh, uh, T.O.'s worst quarterback was was who? Jeff Garcia? Yeah. He was yeah. Quarterback. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Tony Romo, but Tony Romo was a good quarterback. I don't care what anybody says. Tony Romo was a good quarterback. Well, wait, is, Car- is Carson is Carson Palmer better than Jeff Garcia? I mean not Carson. Yeah, is Carson Palmer better than Jeff Garcia? That was at the end of his career too, wasn't it? Carson Palmer eh, Carson Palmer's Carson Palmer. Yeah. Okay. Carson Palmer. Okay. Okay. But the point is Matt Ryan is better than Carson Palmer. <laughs> you know, Matt Ryan's been a good ball. Matt Ryan's been a good ball. I'm just saying, I think the same thing where that's where Randy Moss gets that extra over T.O. for me because he did it where he didn't always have the best quarterback. Same thing with D-Hop versus – and it took me a while because Hula was one of one for about four years. I was like, there's nobody touching Hula. I don't care what A.B. doing. I don't care about Odell catch from the back. I don't care about none of that. Hula was the best. <laughs> <laughs> but when you really look at what D-Hop has done, you know, nobody's at times. Hey, man, you can't take nothing from that, boy. But any list that has D-Hop and Julio 1 and 2, I'm pretty much cool with. All right. I think we can agree with that. Guys, do you guys yeah. agree with our top five picks? Be sure to comment your top five picks, obviously, in the comments uh, section of this video. 
Uh, let us know who you think should have been number one, two, three, four, or five. Um, you know, make fun of us if you make fun of us if you don't like our list, but we don't care anyway because we're gonna stick with who we got. Uh, Dez, Trey, Will, man, it's been an incredible two segments with you guys. Definitely appreciate you uh, joining us this week on SOS. Please, God, I'm not going to give you the whole spiel, but be sure to subscribe to what we're doing on our Spot on Sports YouTube channel. Follow us on social media as well. Uh, Will, uh, I give everybody a chance to do this. Where can they find you on Instagram? Uh, well, social media page, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. So on Instagram, you can find me at uh, Be Truly Humble on Twitter, Be Truly Humble 21. And I try to produce uh, content, sports content, especially during this time now. And I should have an episode of In My Humble Opinion coming out in the next week or so. I have one released earlier this month that y'all can go check out. So be on the lookout for that coming soon. All right, guys, this is Spot on Sports, and we will see you guys next time. Hey, Tony, I came to the conclusion that uh, what you put all four lists together, that Devontae Adams was on more lists. Therefore, he was better. He's better than Tyreek Hill. Look, he's, it's, hey, it's, hey, it's, hey, it's a hey, lot of love. It's a lot of love about Devontae uh, Adams. I really do love his game.